Hi, I'm Michael Olivier and I am a teacher here at Saint Laurent Academy. I would like to uh, share with you my art, something very personal to me. Uh, I've been an artist since I was a little kid and I've always loved to draw and sculpt and take photographs. So I'd like to share some of these uh, works of art with you. I really love painting prehistoric creatures. The stranger the better. Some of these animals look like something right out of a sci-fi movie. When you look at some of these creatures you think, what is it related to? How is it possible that these things really lived? And yet the fossils have been found. And I really enjoy looking at the fossils of these animals as much as I love looking at books and reading about them. Of course, painting them is a joy. Uh, Saber-toothed cats, what an amazing animal. Powerful predators, whales, Champlain Sea. We have, of course, the beautiful passenger pigeons that used to come in the billions in Canada. This painting represents the ancient Carboniferous period over 300 million years ago. This is the great auk. I love to imagine animals that have disappeared. One of the things that amaze me is stories like Darwin. The stories of our ancestors and of course classroom art. I really enjoyed over many, many years painting murals all over my classroom from paintings of Costa Rica with the Quetzal and the toucans and all kinds of hummingbirds to the strange and bizarre world of the quantum with very small particles. We also have, of course, cars and the evolution of automobiles. Anything that tells a story. Birds of Paradise, and this represents a famous story of Plato. We have Mauritius Island, and we have space, the final frontier. One of the cartoons that I love to draw is the T-Rex. I have my own version, of course, and here we put some sharp teeth, a little bit of a grin, and of course we need his nose, Give him a big, wide mouth, big, huge tongue. There we go. Add a little bit of shadow there. Now we have put the back of his head. Nice long tail. There's his big claws on his feet. His tiny little arms. There we go, his belly. Claws. Little hand little bit of drip from his spit, a little bit of texture, and let's make him Tyrannosaurus Tex. Yee-haw! There we go. <laughs> There's Tyrannosaurus Tex. Over the years I've illustrated children's books like Fergie the Frog for Novalis Publishing. I also have illustrated books like Animals in My Garden and scientific illustrations for this book on trilobites. I love making models. 3D is lots of fun. One of my earliest models of Archaeopteryx. The first bird. This is Ramphorhynchus a pterosaur that was originally found in Germany. I really enjoyed creating this skull of a Homo florensiensis. This is a passenger pigeon. This uh, diorama I created a few years ago is now at Petrie Island and it shows some of the animals that would be found in a local marsh like McCown Marsh. And we have chickadees and frogs under the water, that kind of stuff. Lots of fun to make. Here's some of my photography. I love nature photography in particular. Always looking for unusual formations, things that play with light. 
I love to see wildlife in nature. I've been to many places around the world, including Costa Rica, but some of our local stuff is pretty amazing too. I've been to the Galapagos, again playing with light. Here we have a Midland Painted Turtle, a Bald Eagle, playing with light and crystals. A little friend here, a Golden Crown Kinglet, and my visit up north. Some flowers look so alien. Some animals look alien. I love the movement of these wax wings. A lot of my journals show everything from the history of technology to famous people. Sometimes I try to reproduce famous paintings. I get inspired by First Nations and even stained glass. In 1995, I had the opportunity to create murals for the geology department at the University of Ottawa. It was fun to create stylized imagery representing some of the most famous prehistoric life. The rhino-like Megaceroph. Dunkleostis, Teraspis, Percacada. It's lunchtime. And here are some Ramphorhynchus fighting maybe over a fish. Thank you for viewing some of my art.